it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can I get it to focus? Wow. Welcome everyone. This is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty. And in this video, I'm going to be trying out the Kaja Wing Eyeliner Stamp and Pen. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have um, hooded eyes, as you you can see. Um, you don't really see um, my eyelid when my eyes are open. You just kind of see almost like a flat surface. So I don't always really go out of my way to create um, cat eyeliners. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I just don't. Um, I usually am really rushing, and I usually don't have a whole lot of time um, to do things like that when I am doing my own personal makeup. So. I found out um, just by, you know, I've been seeing around Instagram, there were some products that were created where they literally like stamp um, the little cat eye, uh, you know, shape on your eye and then it makes it really easy to fill in. So I wanted to try them. I, I was really curious about that. So um, I saw the Sephora hat one that they were selling and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it, but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably Kaja. I haven't watched any anyone else's videos on this product um so i'm not sure how other people's results were but um i was curious about it so i picked it up um so this is the wing eyeliner stamp and pen it says um for a perfect wing in seconds so they're saying that this will give you a perfect wing eyeliner in in mere seconds um the instructions are to position the wing shape stamp at the outer edge of the eye and press down firmly they said the wing should connect to the lower lash line, creating one continuous line. And then to use the eyeliner pen to draw along the lashes and connect the wing. Shake well before use and then repeat to the other side. So, okay, we're gonna try this. Um, okay, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm a little nervous to try this actually because like I said, um, wing eyeliners, they're, they're not always my favorite thing to do. Um, on myself like I said I'm usually just kind of really rushing so I'm opening the the package now and they give you really nice um, instructions you know which is cool um, kind of showing you what to do I think it's pretty much the same thing that I just read they're saying that um, you need to make sure that you connect that wing with your lower lash line so we're gonna go ahead and try um, this one is the wink the wink stamp they call it this purple one and uh, this black one is the eyeliner pen. They said shake well before you. So let me just pop them out the box. We're just gonna try this <laughs> and see how it works. So I'm trying to shake it and yeah, they said shake it. So I'm like, is it gonna be liquid? Kind of like you ever had like a whiteout pen, you know, it has that little metal ball in it, but I don't hear anything. I don't know if I feel anything shaking around. Um, this product was not too expensive. Let me see how much was it. I think it was only 25 bucks, um, which if it does what it says it does, I, to me, that would be well worth it. Um, so we'll see. But, oh, okay, nice. So I'm glad I read that before I started trying this. Maybe I should have read the instructions a little more. But let me see if I can get this into focus. So there's a right side and a left side, which, okay, this is my left. So I'm gonna start with this one. And uh, there's no metal ball in here, so I don't know about the whole shaking business. They say shake well. Wait, let me see. I swear I just read shake well before use. Somebody said that. Where'd it go? Um, I swear I just read shake well before use. They're saying that this is smudge proof, waterproof, and a long wear formula. Uh, yeah, shake well before you. Oh, okay, maybe the liner. I don't know. We'll see. But I shook it. You saw me. So um, I'm probably going to practice on my hand first, maybe. So I just took the little top off. Left. Wait a minute. Left. Oh, okay, like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at it. It did it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can I get it to focus? Wow. That's exciting. That's promising. Okay. That was all right. 
I'm excited now. Let's see. So they, I mean, they say you're supposed to, um, position the wing shape stamp at the outer edge of the eye and press down firmly. The wing should connect to the lower lash line, but you can't like see it once it's up on your eye. So I, I have a feeling it would take like a little while to kind of get this perfect. But let's see. And then it's like you can't you can't redo it once you did it. It's just like that's it. Um, so I don't know if I'm holding it at the right angle. Ah. So let me see. I'm trying to see to make sure that this looks kind of like it's on a straight edge. And I think I'll try to do the same with the other. I think that would be what would be tricky about this, at least until you learned how to do it. How do you make sure that you're applying them both at the same angle? <sighs> okay I don't know so I'm gonna try to I'm just gonna leave this straight up and down and oh oh you can barely let me see okay that's like tilted up really high though okay well I kind of got to skip though I got to skip with my lower line so I guess that's where you're supposed to do the drawing in part but you can kind of see it you know right there which is cool um I did get it right there in my lower lash line like they asked but with me you know having a little bit of a hooded eye I don't know what I, I just don't even remember what I just did so maybe <laughs> maybe it wasn't like yeah I don't know whatever was it open was it closed I don't even know I thought I had it closed but um yeah, that, that's what it did. So um, I still think that little point on there is cool. But what's kind of making me nervous is how am I going to get it the same on the other side? Because that, that's what's so tricky about the cat eye is not just the shape, but the angle to, to kind of um, get that symmetry. So I'm going to try to do what I did on this side, making sure that it's um, kind of like straight up and down. But yeah, I'll practice um, with this wing too put this one on here okay so that looks that looks good over there too so really I just kind of got to really try to get that same angle which is making me like nervous up in here so okay but I, I see I feel like I can see on the side of my face better I can see that it's up and down and I'm just going to try to dot it right at my lower lash um, line like they said oh wait well, I don't even remember if I had my eyes open or closed last time, <laughs> but this is just my first time, but that's probably why it skipped. Um, so I think I'm going to keep them open because I think I had it open before. Oh, no, that one's ugly. Uh-oh. Okay, but you can't really... Um, that one is a little ugly, and it did skip a little bit too. So I think I have to practice this. I think this has great potential, but I think I need to practice it a little more. Little more. And then let me get their pen that they had. Uh, this is the, the felt tip um, wing eyeliner pen. Cause I can probably clean it up a little bit. Cause it, this, this wing ended up getting like this little extra icky bit on the end, which um, is probably my fault. Cause I said, it's just my first time. But I think in terms of symmetry, it would look more it would look more symmetrical if I wouldn't have uh, got that little extra part on the end. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of fix it a little bit. Okay. All right. So yeah, it's it's not it's not the same. This this wing is a little fatter at the end, um, and then this one has like the perfect tip. So I think what I did wrong was I should have had my eyes closed um but because I swear I don't think I have my eyes closed on this one that's probably part of the issue um but I can still kind of connect them and see so I mean it's, it's easy to fill in if you have that tip part done right that's not really too big of a deal so I'll just kind of, um, like I said, I have a hooded eye, so 
just kind of going along my lower where my lashes are and um this felt tip pin is really nice pretty nice I'm trying to see i don't think it's that bad for my first try So then this one's gonna end up being a little longer than this one. You could tell it's just a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean this one up a little more. But I mean, for my first try, that's not too bad and that was pretty fast. Um, I'm not mad at it. I think I need to practice it. I think this is a product with great potential, especially if you kind of got used to it. Um, but that, that was really fast considering. Um, I think, let me read the directions again, because I don't know if I just got nervous or whatever with my eyes open. I swear you're probably supposed to close your eyes. <laughs> Oops. I don't remember what I did over here, but I know this one was open, but um, okay. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit. This is a Morphe, um, I think it was called the Neutral Territory Palette. I'm just going to get a little bit of this brown and um, just kind of place it under my eye a little bit. One thing that, let me see if it's really, they said it's waterproof. Let me at least see if it's dry. Okay, it's dry. It dried really fast, which is cool. Um, that's good. So I think, I think this product has great potential. This is pretty cool. I'm going to play with it a little more. I think I need some more practice with it. But um, this was a lot of fun to try too. Um, especially if you're kind of doing, you know, like you, you like to have those, those cat eyes. Sometimes it can take a hard time to like a long time to kind of perfect them, you know, when you're doing your makeup. But even if you don't do this perfectly, like I kind of messed this one up a little bit, I was able to go back in and clean it up a little bit and make it, you know, fairly symmetrical. I think I like this product. This was fun too, to try. Um, this was fun. I've never used any type of like stencil product, um, under my eye, but you know what? With us wearing, wearing masks, um, you know, all the time now, it, it just gives me uh, kind of like renewed interest in, um, you know, my whole under eye, my eye area and just kind of making that pop a little bit more than what I normally do on a regular basis. So um, there's a great potential here. Um, I'm going to play with it a little bit and see if I can incorporate it into some looks in the future. But um, I thought this was fun and I did really like it. I like this side um, better than this side. I'm left-handed. So in terms of makeup, when it comes to trying to get things symmetrical, I tend to always do the left part of my face a little better than the other part. Um, so that's, that's something that I'll have to work on practicing and figuring out, but, um, I like it. I thought it was fun. It's not coming off right now. We'll, we'll see how I get it off. This is pretty cool. So if, you know, if you come across this, I would say it's definitely worth picking up, kind of playing with it. Um, you know, to see if that's something that, that might work out for you. But I, I would say, yeah, pick this one up. Um, if you like winged eyeliner and cat eyes, um, and, and let me know how you liked it. If you have some tips and tricks um, that I didn't mention in the video or that you've come across um, while you've been kind of practicing with the product, let me know and we can learn together. So thanks so much and take care. Bye.